Hello again and welcome to another episode here of Arrogant Web TV. We are at Boggy Creek Outfitters again. Hey, we love this place, man. Man, it is awesome. We get to come here and do what I like to call advanced field testing. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, my name is Rick Utzler here with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Aragon Web TV. We are super excited to bring this new episode to you today. We've got a new sponsor we want to talk to you about. Absolutely. Yeah, this year we signed Evanex. Now, Evanex makes some of the most awesome badasses. Can I say badasses? Yeah, I think so. It's not a word, but we'll okay. use it. They make some incredibly cool air guns, and this is one of them. This is actually a prototype. This is called mm -hmm. the Ibex. And this gun is looking for a home, and I happened to have one, and we took it out hunting. Mm -hmm. And it did very, very well. It did very well. In fact, I'm going to change that from hunting to, we're going to call it advanced field testing. Because we took this out to Boggy Creek Outfitters, East Texas, mm -hmm. and they have a 40-acre high fence loaded with hogs. And I called him up and said, how many hogs you got? And he said, oh, two, 250. A bunch. I, said, I, think, I think we'll do okay. We didn't kill them all. We no. killed about 11 hogs in two days, if that tells you anything. That's a pretty good number, though. And the Ibex did awesome. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So Aaron, uh -huh. the Ibex, yes, 45 caliber, absolutely, single shot, love it, looks amazing. Yes, it does. Generates 450 plus foot pounds of energy. Holy crap! Depending on what bullet you're shooting. First thing we did when we got out there was actually get the gun set up because if you don't know what you're hitting, you're not going to hit them. Yeah, you're well, wasting your time. Yeah, you're just going to wind up wounding animals. We don't want to do that. We want to put them down as cleanly as possible. The first thing we did is we took this down on the range and we got some ammo from Hunter Supply and they sent us a bunch. Now this particular gun and I think a lot of the Evidex 45 cals like the 454 versus some other guns like 457. Correct. This likes 454. We went from everything from like a 167 grain round ball mm -hmm. all the way up to like the 350 grain massive slugs. And really I found that the 250 grain hollow points would group very well at 50 to 60 yards, and I think that's about the range I wanted to set up for. Mm -hmm. But of all the ammo that we tried, those seem to do the absolute best. Very consistent. We get about 10 solid shots. Now, out of a big bore gun, that's a lot of shots. Yes. But now that we've got our gun set up, we've got it sighted, it was time to actually get out to the 40-acre high fence and see what we could do and see if we can get on some pigs. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have never been out hunting hogs, there's lots of ways to do it, right? Yes. And I don't know that I'd call this hunting. It's sort of like shooting fish in a barrel. We went out, we wanted to test these guns, and we have a limited amount of time. It was our ultimate goal. We to want to get out. That's we want to get out there and see if these things work. And there is no better option than a good old high fence hunt, and that's what we did. We're going to call it advanced field testing. I'm going to stick with that term because I really think that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We got a product, we got ammo, we got targets. Now you shoot paper all you want. That can only tell you so much. But yeah, you can shoot paper, you can shoot gel, you can shoot all kinds of things, but until you actually put lead on an animal that you intend to kill, you don't mm -hmm. know what it's going to do, and that's what we took this out to accomplish. Now, at the end of the day, we got three good kills. We're going to take you through each one of those. Now, the first one mm -hmm. was actually this little guy. Yeah. And you were hunting with some other products out there, so there was a couple teams of us in the high fence, and I don't know if you might have winged this one or if it was just a slow straggler. I think I might have winged that one. Yeah, because it was different. Like last time I went out there, they would just hold still. Yeah. There was no holding still. These sons of guns, you had to shoot them on the run. And I know that's maybe not ideal. Right. But look, if you're going to take a shot, you got to be good with your gun. And 
in this particular trip, they were, I mean, very yeah, seldom that they just hold still for you. So, and they had like sentries that would <laughs> to watch. And as soon as they saw you, they alerted everybody else and they, and they started took running. off. Yeah. So I know that there was this one and it was moving a little slow and I kind of, I was probably 60, maybe 65 yards out and took the shot, a little guy, I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe 45, 50 pounds, not a real big pig and dropped him. And that was pretty encouraging. I was mm -hmm. pretty happy to see that. Now, later in the day, we got onto one, and you had been chasing this thing. Back and forth. Back for and a while. Forth, back and forth. For we, like two hours. And we really thought this pig was like. Terminator? The Terminator pig or something. I knew. Yeah, I, this pig was something else. And it was just, I don't know what the deal was. Now, you were shooting a different gun, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you hit him or you didn't hit him or what, you just scared him or the shots were too, I don't know what was going on, but. We knew that we thought he might be wounded. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure we put him down. So we kind of teamed up. I started running after him. I was riding on, I think I was on the, the gator or whatever they had mm -hmm. over there. And I was riding on that thing. So we finally tracked this pig down. You're going to see it, the footage. Again, on the run, you see me kind of draw up on the pig. And he's running, he's running, bang. And the, the, the bullet actually passes clear through. You see mm -hmm. the dirt go pound behind him. But that is, you know, that actually brought him down. He just went a few more feet, and then uh, we were able to finally put this pig down. It was, turned out to be a pretty big pig. It was a yeah. hundred and hundred and some odd pounds. It was, it was, a, it was a decent sized pig. Too. Yeah, he was he was no slouch. But you know, when you have a gun with this much energy, we're talking three hundred and uh, three fifty ish, right three sixty five foot pounds. That's a lot of energy coming yeah. out of the gun. So I had a good good bit of confidence that. If I could connect, it would do the job. Uh, absolutely. And it did. And then we had like probably the best kill of the day, maybe the best kill of the whole trip. It uh, did exactly what we wanted. I mean, it was gorgeous. Yes. I mean, we uh, we had kind of snuck up on some pigs, kind of sitting there. And again, you know, most of the time these things are running everywhere. Yeah. I mean, they're really hard to get one to hold still. And uh, we snuck on them, snuck up on them, and we're probably 55, 60 yards out, which is where I had sighted the gun in. Mm -hmm. And just sitting there, big black pig, just just sitting there. Got that tree in the way. Look it up. Stop, 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 stop. stop. And uh, waited, waited, waited. And then eventually we had the guys with us, one yep. of the guides made a noise or something, this pig sort of stood up. And his ears went up and he's looking straight at me. And I really wanted, personally, I wanted a vital shot. I right. wanted to go through the shield and see how this gun would do. But this pig just presented me this shot, just square on. And I'm like, man, all right. And everybody said, just take the shot. So I said, all right. I lined up, got my, got my drop and pulled the trigger and just drilled him. Mm -hmm. Just a solid thump. And you see this pig just roll over. That was just really impressive. And that pig turned out to be, he was about 115, 120 pounds. You know, you talk about pigs, that's not a huge pig. No. It's a big pig for me. I mean, it's I've a shot big pig. maybe about 160 pounds of being my biggest so far. Now there's some big ones in there and I steered away from them. I'll tell you why. You know, part of the testing, what we do is we learn every time we go out. Mm -hmm. And you guys wondering about you know, what gun to use for what pig or what animal and how many foot pounds on an air gun that goes to how many pounds of animal. And I had thought maybe one foot pound to one pound. Mm -hmm. I've changed that. Yeah, that does sound right. and, and I think the reason is a lot of it deals not just with the energy, but the ammo. Mm -hmm. That you gotta have the right ammo that gives you, the, that actually dumps all the energy. So right. if you have something that just passes through, which is what we found with these, very accurate, but they got more pass through, no, no real expansion. So you had to be really accurate with your shots. If I had expansion and dumped all that 300 foot pounds, I, that might be a different story. Yeah, that would. But what I, what I really think I'm gonna lock into is, uh, for every pound of flesh, so to speak, mm -hmm. I want two foot pounds of energy. I think that's good. 
So if I'm looking at 365 foot-pounds with that ammo, I'm looking to take nothing more than 160, 180 you know, pound pick. 200 would be pushing it, but if you got a good shot, it could do that. Yeah, if they hold still and I knew yeah. I was going to hit the thing, then that would you know, hit right where I wanted, then that would be different. But I think that's going to be my new rule. And mm -hmm. you know, it may change because we go out and we, we actually see what these things can do. That's a big part of what, why we do this show is to actually put the products to the test and yep. see how they do. Now this gun did a great job. And even later, the like the next day, mm -hmm. uh, they had some other guys out there and we didn't get any footage of this, but I'll tell you, it was cool. It was. <laughs> there's actually on the Facebook page, there's a little testimonial with me with this pig. You guys can go to uh, facebook.com slash TV and you can see it. But uh, we went out there with the owner and uh, one of the bow hunters had hit a pig and didn't kill it. So they said, we gotta kill this pig. And so I went out and managed to uh, get this beautiful shot on this big hog and sure enough, just dropped it. It was awesome. So the Ibex actually got four pigs mm -hmm. on this hunt. And that was, to me, very impressive, very effective. I mean, having Evanex on board is awesome. I gotta talk about Hawk too, because if you can't see what you're shooting, what good is it? We, exactly. you know, Hawk provided all the optics for us. and. Man, it was just a great time. I can't wait to get out there and go back. Aaron, what did you learn? You know, it was your first time out there. I mean, it was my first time out there, and it was my first time hunting larger game. Yeah, um, prairie different dogs. than prairie dogs. Prairie right? dogs and squirrels. You know, they're they're quick and they're nimble, but uh, the pigs. They're mean, man. They are mean. <laughs> We're gonna save your little adventure yeah, for well, later uh, in the season. You guys, yeah, you guys keep and stay tuned for that yeah, one. There's but, a whole story to that. <laughs> Well guys, let's go wrap this up. We took the Ibex out, did our job, got things done with it. Just super pleased with this rifle. Just really, really happy with it. I want to thank Molly Creek Outfitters for having us out here again. Um, man, you guys want to go out and see what this is like? Mm -hmm. Man, this place is open. You can look at their website, mollycreekoutfitters.com, and come out here and hunt some pigs. Yeah, have a lot of fun. Just Absolutely. Like My name is Rick Keecher with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Aragon Web TV. Thanks for watching.